for coming, guys. We took a lot of effort to put this all together. We had a lot of people pulling together, and you are about to enjoy the results, the fruits of many labors. I'd like to begin by acknowledging a lot of people who have had significant roles in pulling this together. First of all, Miss Amy, to whom... She's amazing. She, her persistence is admirable. And without her, none of this would happen. I remember when COVID first all came down and she's like, I will find a way to make the music continue. And true to her word. Which brings me to our next family we'd like to acknowledge is the Denovi family. They have graciously hosted us since, what, May? June? May. You know, come here for practices. We've had our spring concert here. We had our summer music camp here, and now our fall concert with the decorations and everything. We just cannot thank them enough for everything that they have done. They're also very humble people, so we just appreciate that. We also like to thank the Lipinski family, who are responsible for not just tonight, but over the years, you know, the audio visual, if you enjoy a YouTube, it's because of the Lipinski family with their audio visual and countless hours donating their time and talents. We'd also like to thank the end friends of the orchestra. We have many professionals in the orchestra this evening. They have come out donated their time to faithfully mentor these young musicians, and we cannot, I mean, their talent, their experience, we just can't put a, a value on that, so we want to thank them. <laughs> want to thank the parents for not giving up. You know, there are times, I'm a parent, sometimes you don't feel like, you know, getting up, getting going, and getting them to rehearsal, but you know what? You guys did a great job, and without you guys, we wouldn't be here, so we want to thank you. to the refreshments that you're about to enjoy after the concert. Right? It, it is here, I promise. We also want to thank the audience, you guys. You're why we're here. That you guys can enjoy the fruits of many labors. So give yourselves a big round of applause. So the first piece you will hear tonight is the music for the Royal Fireworks that premiered in London on April 27, 1749. When King George II commissioned the work, he specified that it was to be played by a military band of winds, brass, and percussion. No strings, I love that. It was first performed at an outdoor festival celebrating the end of the war of the Austrian succession. Now you all remember that, right? <laughs> Mongol later added the strings for the first indoor performance, which is in London. The original work is a suite of five movements. However, here we will play three for you. The first you will hear, and probably the most recognized, is the rejoicing, followed by a minuet or stately ballroom dance. And then lastly, a jaunty foray. Enjoy. <laughs>
years. Born in Hungary in 1881, a man by the name of Bela Bartok had a deep appreciation for the folk music of the region, which he later incorporated into his own works. Next, he will play for you his Romanian folk dances, which consists of a series of six short pieces. First, you will hear, now I'm going to say these in English because I can't pronounce the Romanian people. Stick dance. The second dance you'll hear is sash dance on which we will feature two clarinet soloists. First, a young man by the name of Noah Bantle. Currently, this impressive young man is in 10th grade and he is already an accomplished musician. Tonight, he'll be playing both clarinet as well as oboe for us throughout the program. The second solo you hear will be played by one of our outstanding South Jersey Youth Orchestra friends, Angela Kalowski, another outstanding musician. The third dance features a flute solo, which you will hear tonight expertly rendered by another South Jersey Youth Orchestra friend, Bethany Bantle, who is also Noah's mom. This dance is called In One Place. The fourth dance will feature two of our violin soloists. The first solo you hear will be played by Will Snyder, one of my sons, currently a high school senior who has been studying under Miss Amy for the last five years and who intends to continue to pursue music in his future. The second violin solo you hear will be played by an impressive young lady, currently in ninth grade. Remember her name, you're gonna hear it again. That's Grace Lipinski. Her star continues to rise and shine brightly. The fourth dance we play is the horn dance, followed by the Romanian polka. I love a good polka, I don't know about you guys. And we will finish with number six, the fast dance. You can feel the deep emotion unique to that region of the world as you listen to this passion. Enjoy.
Now next, we will play for you a selection of music very appropriate to our venue. It's called Hoedown. Hoedown for, from choreographer Agnes DeMille and composer Aaron Copeland's Rodeo. Originally commissioned by the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo as a ballet, the theme of the work is almost as old as time itself, and that is the plight of a woman as to how to catch a decent man. We're only going to play the hoedown. <laughs> that would be the fourth movement. Now, the trumpet solo you will hear is going to be played by a very talented musician. He's very versatile, brilliant. His name is Scott Gildersleeve, and this is his first concert playing with the orchestra. So listen carefully. Hold on to your hat, listen up, and enjoy some down-home fiddling. I know, it's not a fiddle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back. We end tonight's program with Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. You may be familiar with the tune as it is commonly associated with American Independence Day festivities. But you know what? The two have nothing to do with each other. In fact, this competition, composition isn't even related to the American War of 1812. This was actually written to celebrate the Russian victory over Napoleon's invading army. In 1974, the Boston Pops added cannons, church bells, and fireworks to draw folks to its Independence Day concert, and thus a holiday tradition was born. Our rendition tonight will have neither the cannon nor the fireworks, but we think you will enjoy it. These young folks have worked very hard and everyone has pulled together in such an impressive effort to bring this concert to pass. We want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and hope that you have enjoyed your time with us as much as we have enjoyed having you here. Enjoy the last part of the show.
Yeah, there's a bonfire and there's a refresh. I always call it a bonfire.